Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're gonna make a, a mod chart inside of Lua this time. So let's start by opening Universe Engine again. Move it back to my second screen. And let's pick a random song right now. I will uh, pick Stress on Heart, it doesn't really matter which difficulty we're gonna choose. And if the game, game loads, we're gonna check one thing before we do start, and that's if we have mod charting on. And yes, we do. And of course, the shutdown on Misbit, we, I have bot layout for testing. So that's all good. So let's jump in the game and let's jump inside of the song, and we're gonna see no mod charts. So. Let's create a mod chart inside of Lua. So I'm gonna go into assets, data, and then stress because, well, I'm gonna make a mod chart for stress. Let's create a new text document and give it whatever name. It doesn't matter like in the mod chart editor in the previous tutorial, where you need to specifically call it modchart.json. In Lua, it doesn't matter. If it's just a Lua file, that's okay. So if you can see um, the file extensions, go into view, more view, and then uh, file file name extensions. Be sure that's on, and let's create make a, a Lua file. I'm gonna make it call it tutorial Lua. It doesn't really matter. So Lua has a couple things you need to know need to do inside of inside of um, your VS code when you create your own mod chart and that's when you call mod charts and give them a name they have to be inside of function on create post why did it do it like this okay so there are a couple of functions you're gonna need, need to know. I'm gonna open the documentation I have open here. This is a small list of modifiers. Of course we have more. But start mod is the main function you're gonna use most of the time. It's because it's to start a modifier. By the way, this documentation is is in the uh, FNF mod charting tools repository. I'm gonna leave it in the description below. So you could look at it how uh, everything is called. I will go over start start mod, set mod, um, add play field and remove play field, tw and tween modifier. That's all of the modifiers, uh, different functions I'm gonna go over today. And probably I will also go over some sub mods. So inside a function on create post, you two functions are gonna be here for every single time and that's start mod by the way I mean the functions we're gonna go over start mod and ease are gonna be inside of this um, inside of onCreate post they have to be here I've tested before to do it in like on beat hit or on step hit they have to be in onCreate post so I'm going to do something very simple again with a reverse modifier and I'm going to call my modifier re for again. The start mod modifier goes like this. The name of the modifier you want to give it. It also stores uh, which type you're going to do. Lane, opponent, uh, player only of or all. The mod class, the actual modifier like reverse modifier I'm going to do. Uh, for an example, the type that lane, opponent, uh, player only of or all, and the play fields. If you want to do it for all play fields, you again do minus one. So I'm gonna call my modifier re. I'm gonna zoom in a bit for you guys. Re. Then we're doing it, gonna do reverse modifier. It has to be done like this. You start with a capital letter and then modifier is again with a capital M. Then if you leave this blank, it will be for all everything. 
and I'm gonna do minus one for all play fields. Inside of ease, I'm gonna do it for two beats on beat two. The ease, uh, the time for the ease is also gonna be two beats. That that really doesn't matter. I'm gonna do linear. And then you do these types of brackets, and I'm gonna do one for the value, then the name of your modifier. And if I restart the song. You're gonna see on B2, it's gonna do reverse. You can also do, if I comment this out real quick. Oh yeah, I forgot. Lua isn't like this. Whoops. So now I'm gonna do set mod. It also needs to be in side of uncreate post could be also not not i'm going to set mod the name of your modifier re and also the value Three, two, one, go. as you can see it's like this by default right now and if i'm gonna do this Three, two, one. see that's how it works so I could uh, now. Now I'm gonna do tween modifier, tween modifier, Rory again. Yes, this the modifier, the volume, the time. Okay. So the value one, then on the beat, then the time. If I recall correctly again, time and the ease. Okay. So, time and then these. Oh no, no, no. Okay, so this is just how long it's gonna take. And then the east type, let's do quads in out. Five, two, like this. It's gonna be from the start. Three, two, one, go. There we go. But of course, we can. Check something if I if I do player only. Three, two, one, go. As you can see, it only works for the player. And if I do opponent, if I can type correctly, uh, because it's still hard to type. Let's see. Three, two, one, and so as you can see, now it's only the opponents. But now let's see. If you can also do submods, I'm gonna uncomment this real quick and I'm gonna comment out this. And I'm gonna do a different start mod. Start mod. Let's do something like uh, incoming angle. I'm gonna call it ink. Then um, I've s s saved it in here. Let's do it for all again and then, of course, also all. And now let's do ink, but of course it requires a sub mod like you know from the previous video. Let's do it for Y and let's do it like 45 degrees. And boom. How you do it is you type the name of your modifier and then a colon. I love GD colon. And then, what type of submod you want? Can you do multiple at the same time? Yes. I'm gonna uncomment out this guy again. I'm gonna make it for all the player for everything again. And what you do is, after the modifier name in the ease function, you do a comma, and then you go under it, or you can do it by like that. Then one for reverse. Let's just do. As you do minus one for example and then you type or again a comma and then the name of your other modifier save the file you restart the song and you get this Three, two, one, go. gorgeous let's go now let's go over at playfield 
Let's uh, redo this again. How you do that is you do add play field like this. You do the coordinates you want to do, and that's basically it. Three, two, one, go. There we go. I don't know why I did that. Oh yeah, if you want, to, if you do add play fields, uh, it won't check uh, the modifiers before it um, to let it work. So if you do add play fields uh, like here, then it will do that. It's something. Yeah, see. Otherwise, it won't work. So you can also do like add play fields. Add play field and then start mod is a move. I'm gonna do move y modifier for everything and then it's play field one. And I'm gonna do uh, 40 for move. Three, two, one, go. I don't know why it did, didn't move. Did I mistype something? Oh, it's Y. <laughs> Whoops. It's Y modifier. I'm gonna do YD. So as you can see now it works correctly. I don't know why incoming angle now does work. But can you do other eases as well? Yes. Just type make another ease function. Let's do it like on 10 beats. It's gonna take one this. And I'm gonna do quad oh not low quality. Why did I got this? Quad in out. The square brackets again. And do zero move. Three, two, one, go. And so as you can see, it works correctly. But let's see if you could also do um, on step hits. Let's create like if car step is equals equals. So let's say 10, then let's then remove the play field. So remove play fields. And then it's the index. So zero is the first play field and one is the second. So if you do that, then. Three, two, one, go. That was pretty fast. Let's do like a different, let's do like 40. Three, two, one, go. Boom. Can you also add the play field like layer again? Yes. If curse step is equals equals to AD, then add play field. But let's do like different coordinates. Let's do like 20, 20, 20. No, no, no. That's going to be, let's do 100. Let's just do... Zero like here, then 100 like here, and then zero again here. Three, two, one, go. And boom. Um, sorry for the quick sound, I'm gonna disable them real quick. Everything kind of works inside of here. 
I'm gonna, by the way, you can also do this in on step hits. But yeah, everything, it's not really a big thing. It's not really like a big thing inside of Lua. Setting play fields, I'm sorry, but it's kind of broken inside of here. I could test it again if it will work. Let's disable this real quick and remove this. And I'm gonna do one comma re. I'm gonna just also remove all of this real quick. So this. I'm gonna do lane instead of here. And then you need to do set mod target lane. Yeah, set mod target lane. I'm gonna copy this function real quick so I could do that correctly. And then the name of your modifier, and then like let's do one. And normally, what did you do is do it for lanes, but previously, before it made the universe engine, it broke. You see, it doesn't work. I don't know why. So, sadly, doing Lua, um, doing lanes inside of Lua, it's kind of broken. What does work if I remove everything inside of here real quick oops that's going inside of the mod chart editor selecting your modifier I'm gonna type it first modifier set it to lane and then like one save the modifier save your mod chart And if I go to Universe Engine, Assets, Data, Stress, then instead of here, then go Exit Out, then it will work. If I'm not stupid and get that didn't give it a name, that's the wrong one. Nope. I can't keep my tabs organized. Uh, here. You can always modify the JSON file. If it just reverse it and uh, restart it, it will work. Three, two, one, go. See? Now it does work. But you can't do like crazy stuff with lanes related stuff. I'm sorry about it. But I don't know how to fix it, and the developer of the mod trading tool also doesn't know why it only doesn't work for for me so sadly that this doesn't work about for it but that's pretty much it for lua next time it's a script hope you see it hope you see it next time